You're tuned in to Big Ideas Small Business with Doreen Milano. Doreen brings energy, focus, and creativity with the most cutting-edge tools and systems needed to grow business, drive profits, and achieve dreams. Ready to rise? Here's your host, Doreen Milano. Cultivating effective relationships. This subject is at the heart of your family, your businesses, and essentially your life. My t- top five standard operating procedures of communication are use active listening skills. Use your words. Be authentic. Do not assume. And acknowledge, acknowledge, acknowledge. I'm sure you're asking yourself, what makes these so special? And let me share with you my reasoning. One of the largest problems in families and businesses is one thing that there's either too much of or not enough of, and that is communication. Take my big Italian family with a Sunday dinner table of between 30 and 100. I'm sure you can imagine the boisterous voices, the good-hearted ribbing, the laughter, and, but let's be honest, you can't get that many people together without an argument or two. And it happened frequently. My great-grandmother was not going to stand still for arguments, so she banned certain topics from the dinner table. No sports, no politics, and no controversy, period. I loved my great-grandmother to death. She applied an effective solution, but lost the authentic and genuine family communication she really desired. If my family had used their two ears and employed active listening skills to seek to understand first, the outcome would have been totally different. Using words descriptively and effectively while taking the extra step to verify that the communication has landed the way it was intended is so important. If we are speaking, it is our responsibility to make sure our words landed and we are understood as we intended them to be as we intended them when we spoke. Cleaning up the misunderstanding before it festers into hurt feelings is a vital step. And that is the responsibility of the speaker and the listener. Be authentic, who you are, no airs, no posing, just be you. The real you is the greatest gift possible. I was actually watching American Idol on Sunday and I was taken by surprise at how many contestants didn't feel like they were good enough and how much time it took the coaches to convince them that they were more than good enough. Their emotions were important. Their emotions counted. Being able to connect and be authentic with the audience was the name of the game. Own who you are, all of you. I would be remiss if I did not take a moment and acknowledge that there there are those who believe that they are God's gift, and they truly are. It is not my place to judge or anyone else's. We all have at least one of these individuals in our families or our workplaces. And what I have found is often it is fear that is at the center of the protection, and it's all a game. Take time to understand their perspective. Open up to them. This may take time. Dysfunction is more noticeable within society and the workplace as well as our families. And it takes on many forms addiction, phobias, mental health, PTSD, rejection. Bring God into the conversation, either through prayer or through gentle inquiry. And let's talk about assumptions. When we assume, we make a decision and we judge. Correction, we misjudge. We are no longer open to new thoughts, new perspectives. And if our goal is understanding and being understood, we have just robbed ourselves of both. Let me tell you a little story. When I was in California, I had a friend who had done a two-day seminar. It was Sunday night. He was on his way home. He was going to get on BART and go up to the East Bay. And on the platform was this family of four. There was a baby and a 14-year-old and, you know, two other kids. And the youngest was four, except for the infant. And they were running rampant. They were all over the place. And it was the teenage son that was trying to wrangle the kids and keep everybody quiet, and he was doing a horrible job of it. And the dad was just standing there looking off into the distance with the baby clutched to his chest. And my friend said, I was really hoping that they were not going to get on my train. 
He boarded his train, he took his seat, and lo and behold, the family came in and they sat right across from him. And the kids were still running up and down the aisles and creating all kinds of things. And the baby started to fuss. So my friend said, let me take the baby. Let me see if I can calm him down. And the father was happy to have somebody assist him. And they started a conversation only to find out that the family had gone to the hospital in San Francisco to see the wife and she passed away that afternoon and he was now taking the kids back home. And he did not have the heart or the knowledge of how to deal with telling the kids that their mom had passed. Now, during this story, you may have made some assumptions about the dad, how good he was, how bad he was, the kids, whether they were disciplined or not. But when you get the whole story, it gives you a whole different perspective on what might be happening. So before I get to the fifth item, let's do a little reflection. On a scale of one to five, one being it needs some work and five being I got this, let's ask ourselves, how are we at active listening? Hearing and paraphrasing what you've heard, verifying that you've heard correctly, is this what you do? Using your words to communicate feelings, ideas, and concepts, ideas, and actions. Language is everything. It's not what you say, it's how you say it. That either resonates or falls flat. How good are you at that? Being authentic, accepting who you are, with flaws and all, being you in spite of it all. And assumptions are not what we have for accurate communication. We don't assume. How often do you make an assumption? If you scored 20, congratulations. You're hitting it out of the ballpark. But let me tell you something. If you're a 5 or a 10 or a 15, how do you want to move those scores closer to 20? Our communication has the component of language. However, a much larger and more powerful element of communication is body language. Our body language will give us away every time. Body language is composed of how we stand, the emotions we communicate through our body, like, love, joy, happiness, or nervousness, fear, and terror. Our internal communication is relayed through body language. Our external communication is also relayed through body language. Authenticity is when all the communication is relaying the same message. One way to connect the dots is through our core values. Core values speak to our heart, our emotions. They connect with our passion. They elicit either anger or violation. They also connect to love for ourselves and others. Number five on my list is all about acknowledgement of self, acknowledgement of others, our wins and our losses and our triumphs. Now you might ask why all of this is important. I will bring you back to my family and building or breaking relationships. I use them as a clear example of consequences of communication that can unintentionally hurt relationships. My family is no different than a small family business. It is all about communication and the relationships we build along the way. Cultivating clear, authentic communication is the topic of today. Thank you for listening. I'll be right back. A polished look says a lot about you. In under three seconds, that first impression can open and close doors. Jepreve. Jepreve has the brands you love to wear. Style and Company, Pistola, Aiden, Vince Camuto, and more. 165 labels with fit that flatters. Jepreve.com. Jepreve ships from Farmers Branch, Texas. Ask us about local DFW fashion shows that bring Jepreve right to you. Upscale fashion doesn't have to be expensive, and you don't have to dig through racks of clothes that end up damaged and missing buttons from being tried on over and over and over again. Jabrieve.com is your answer to fine clothing in casual, career, and formal wear. Make a name for yourself. Do it in style. Jabrieve. Jabrieve.com. Name brand apparel without the department store prices. Interested in starting a podcast or TV show? Worried about what you'll say and how to keep it engaging? think you'd like to be a guest on podcast, radio, or TV shows? Hi, I'm Susan Hamilton, owner and founder of OBBM Network, and I would like to invite you to an OBBM Media Training 
to get the tools you need for a relaxed and polished performance you'll be proud to share. Our specialized training techniques include role play, voice training, and everything you need to deliver a confident, clear, and engaging interaction. Go to offbeatbusiness.com. Go to the calendar and register for a training that's convenient for you. Dates available now, 214-714-0495. Business runs on technology, and human beings are creatures of habit. Unfortunately, not all our habits are good. Technology, when it works, is supposed to make our lives easier, creating routines that allow us to protect customer data, track our progress, forecast the future, communicate better, and move much faster. So you need technology solutions that work when you're not working, or simply not paying attention. Smart technology solutions, making the complicated uncomplicated. Welcome back. I'm Doreen Milano, and my guest today is Tio Fister from Van Dyke Mortgage. And Tio is originally from Romania. Yes. And um, I've known Tio for a while now, and we've had a great relationship. But Tio, tell us more about what it's like being in the United States. It's amazing what a miracle it is and what a blessing it is to be here in this country where every opportunity is available to us. And when we just set our mind to make something happen, we can definitely make that happen. So I um, feel very blessed to be here. So of all the opportunities that you found moving to the United States, I'm curious, what got you interested in mortgage it's, and lending? What a great question. Thank you so much. Mortgage means home. And oh, where okay, is great. the heart of somebody? It's at home. So when somebody has their home, that's where they feel at peace. They have their family with them. That's, it means so much. And this is part of what is so important in communication, is understanding what the core of the family is. Absolutely. So tell us more about how you landed within the mortgage industry, helping small business owners really find what works for them and their family. So as, thank you. As you pointed out, communication is such a big piece of what I do. It's um, so pivotal, so important to know what makes somebody take that step towards ownership of property, whether it's their first time buying a home or maybe it's their investment property, they're just accumulating and, and growing their wealth. Um, for me, it was about making a difference and a industry and an environment where everything could be very straightforward, just about numbers, but truly when it comes down to it, it's about what's important to people what they are looking to accomplish, what's their why. Ooh, that's a lot deeper than most people that are doing the mortgage business, right? Absolutely. Absolutely, because when it comes to it's finding not, it's the more, strategy... It's more about the people rather than the numbers. It is. And a strategy, a product, does not fit everybody's needs. So tell me more about what that looks like. When you're creating a, a scenario for somebody who is a, a business owner who wants to buy a home, how do you decide what products are the right products to fit their need? We start with a conversation and I ask them questions about first, what do they have available? Do they have all their documents they would need for a regular oil documentation loan? Uh, do they have their taxes filed? Do they have um, everything set with their CPA? Has their CPA created their income to sustain them buying a home? Because it takes, it takes planning to make that happen. Um, and if that doesn't work out for them, then we would look at bank statement loans. Uh, that's very, very popular right now. If somebody okay. has that option, we would go that route. Or there's another route where 
we can find a solution based on the cash flow of the property. Therefore, the income is not even in question. Very, very interesting. What, how to phrase this question, I really want to know more about what connects with you in this process because you're doing this to make a difference. Yes. So what boxes get checked for you in going through this process? Because it's about relationship. It's not about the numbers. Absolutely. It is about relationships. It's about create, creating not just a one transaction relationship, but a lifetime relationship. I want to be their go-to girl when it comes to financing, whether it's this property or many others. Uh, if they have any questions along the way, sometimes uh, life changes. The home that they bought this year, maybe next year they need to take some equity out of their home. Maybe they're ready to invest in more properties. And we want to leave that door open so they feel welcome to come back and ask questions and keep that conversation going. That's amazing. So when you're, you're talking to these families, yes, because it's not just mom and dad, you're involving everybody, aren't you? Yes, I am. And so how are you connecting with the kids in this process? Ask about them. Um, I learned throughout the process what activities their kids are involved with. I have a son, so sometimes we have commonality. Maybe they played the same sport as my son did. Maybe they went to the same school. Maybe they live in the same area. Um, as, okay. as a parent, there's always something that we can... There's always a connection that absolutely. can be made. Yes. So I understand all of those pieces for you. What does the business owner that's out there that's listening, what do they need to know? Because sometimes it's really scary for a business owner who doesn't have all their ducks in a row and knows that they have to buy a bigger house or a smaller house or a house in a different location. Sometimes it's really scary for them to take that step, not knowing somebody like you that will hold their hand through the process since so many of your compatriots are more clinical about the transaction, right? Yes. So what do you have to say to those business owners? We will start with a conversation and we will look at what's possible now. If we need to work on specifics to come up with a strategy to get them ready, they might not be ready right at that moment. Maybe we need to address specifics like credit even. Sometimes that comes into play and we need to make sure that that's uh, right where it needs to be. Uh, sometimes it's about talking with their CPA and make sure that that's, their income is in line, um, that they have their document structures, so tax returns that mentioned, bank statements, personal and business. But that's kind of scary. Um, not so much, especially that we've just come out from a tax for, season. <laughs> for you, it's not scary. But for a lot of business owners, yes. it is very scary because, you know, I'm, a, I'm an executive coach. I know that a lot of business owners don't pay enough attention to their numbers. Yeah. In fact, they're scared of their numbers, right? So that can make this a very scary conversation. So how do you help that business owner make that transition from scary to this is gonna work out okay. We even put a scenario together to where we can look at here where the numbers are, where, where do you think you are? And we just start with that conversation even before we bring in the documentation and we'll look to the hard numbers. Okay. And based on that conversation, then we have a better idea. Can we do this? What does that look like? Um, what's the potential of um, following the, the desire that they have for maybe a specific price for that home? Mm -hmm. uh, do they need to have a specific percentage or down payment? 
Some people, a lot of people think they need to have 20% towards the down payment. That's not always the case. Well, that is good news, isn't it? Yes, it is. So if they don't need 20%, does that take the pressure off? Absolutely. Does that make it less scary? Yes, I think so. Because so it makes a huge difference if they can calm down and not have fear run the relationship, right? Absolutely. It's all about creating a, an environment where they feel that they are cared for, even though something. it's a financial transaction. Yes, it, it's about numbers, but it is about that specific family, that specific person. That is awesome. So let's stop for a moment. Let's take a commercial break, and we'll be back in a moment to continue this conversation about authentic relationships and business and mortgage. We'll be right back. A polished look says a lot about you. In under three seconds, that first impression can open and close doors. Chepreve. Chepreve has the brands you love to wear. Style & Company, Pistola, Aiden, Vince Camuto, and more. 165 labels with fit that flatters. Chepreve.com. Chepreve ships from Farmers Branch, Texas. Ask us about local DFW fashion shows that bring Chepreve right to you. Upscale fashion doesn't have to be expensive, and you don't have to dig through racks of clothes that end up damaged and missing buttons from being tried on over and over and over again. Chaprieve.com is your answer to fine clothing in casual, career, and formal wear. Make a name for yourself. Do it in style. Chaprieve. Chaprieve.com. Name brand apparel without the department store prices. Business runs on technology, and human beings are creatures of habit. Unfortunately, not all our habits are good. Technology, when it works, is supposed to make our lives easier, creating routines that allow us to protect customer data, track our progress, forecast the future, communicate better, and move much faster. So you need technology solutions that work when you're not working or simply not paying attention. Smart technology solutions, making the complicated uncomplicated. My American dream is to help you stay healthy and energized so you can live your American dream. Our American dream is equipping future generations of American dreamers. My American dream is to protect my community so they can live their American dream. My American dream is to bring you some spice and flavor to your life. Our American dream is ensuring what's most valuable to you. Our American dream is creating opportunities for healthcare providers so they can have their American dreams. My American dream is serving our business community and advocating for all of your American dreams. Interested in starting a podcast or TV show? Worried about what you'll say and how to keep it engaging? Think you'd like to be a guest on podcasts, radio, or TV shows? Hi, I'm Susan Hamilton, owner and founder of OBBM Network, and I would like to invite you to an OBBM media training to get the tools you need for a relaxed and polished performance you'll be proud to share. Our specialized training techniques include role play, voice training, and everything you need to deliver a confident, clear, and engaging interaction. Go to offbeatbusiness.com. Go to the calendar and register for a training that's convenient for you. Dates available now, 214-714-0495. Welcome back. And we're going to continue our conversation about business owners and mortgages with T.O. Fister from Van Dyke Mortgage. And T.O., we're, we're, we've been talking today about business owners and how the special needs that they have when it comes to mortgages. But you're also a certified divorce lender. Yes. So you help people transition through that very scary time between divorce and where they're going to live, and you handle it with grace and ease like I've never seen before. Thank but, you. But through that process, you also deal with veterans and you deal with first responders, you deal with all kinds of other folks as well. 
Absolutely. Life happens. Oh, boy, does it. Yes. <laughs> and it's good to have somebody that you can turn to during that time that can advise you. And more than any time, that is so important to, when it comes to financing, to see, can you keep the house? Can you not keep the house? Can you get prepared for the next stage in your life? And um, whether it's somebody that's self-employed or somebody that, that is employed with a company um, or somebody that stayed home for a while. That's huge. How do you plan to go to the next level, to the next step in your, in your life? And it's, it, then it comes about kids and communities and where you want to be and schools. Uh, but it, it takes, again, it takes planning. It takes a conversation to make sure that yes. you're ready. And you made divorce. DFW your home. You're not it going is. back anywhere. This is yes, where you live. This is, it. This is where you're, you're, you've established your family. Yes. And this is where your heart is. Absolutely. And I'm easy to reach. I will meet with people on weekends. And we'll just, I'll meet them where they are. It, it really doesn't take a very um, harsh conversation to make that happen. It's just... Okay, here's what you're trying to accomplish. This is what it will be to make that happen. Um, there are different programs for every single person that's out there. Um, I work with a company that has been in business a very long time. And when it comes down to it, it's all about the people that are there to support you. And, and that's that why you transition. chose this company, Absolutely. isn't it? Yes, because it is. it's all about the people for them. It's yes. all about the people for you. And ladies and gentlemen, when it comes down to doing something as personal as finding the next place you want to live, you want your lender and the mortgage company to be all about you. Absolutely. And also it matters when you go out there and put offers on homes, it matters that you work with a local lender. It matters that they can reach you by phone, that I can send a message that I'm easily accessible to the realtor that's on the other side of that transaction. Do you have a story for us? Um, I have many, many stories, actually. Well, why don't you <laughs> pick one so that our audience can really understand who you are and how you operate within the space. Absolutely. So I've uh, recently worked with a restaurant owner talking about self-employed borrowers. And uh, this gentleman came to me because their bank turned them down. They were trying to fit into this box of a conventional loan and it just, they tried different routes, it didn't work out. And uh, we looked at other options. We ended up going with a bank statement loan and we were able to make that happen for this family. Um, there were some exceptions to be met because in this environment, the underwriters are gonna look at the income. Is the income inclining or is declining? The last two years we've dealt with COVID. There were rules and regulations put in place to make sure that business owners are going to be able to sustain their mortgage payment Not after grow their business. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. So, Distinct um, difference, right? Yes. And we were able to close on time. They had a smooth process, but what happened is we made sure that they were ready right from the get-go. So even before that offer was put out there, we had that loan wow. underwritten and they found their home and now they're so very happy. So you added confidence into the process for that business owner so they didn't have to take time away from their business to be focusing on what it was gonna to take to get this loan done Absolutely. and get the home that they really wanna have. Yes. That is huge. Yes, and the realtor, the representing the seller, because we've gone through that process and they knew that this loan was going to work out for the buyer. They had that confidence to give us the priority over other people that were putting offers in. Wow. In this market, this is huge. That is a big Especially deal. Especially for a self-employed borrower. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. And it can be really, really scary. Yes. You know, it is a huge, huge deal to choose your mortgage company your title company, and your realtor with care. 
You want that team to be on your side, looking out for your six, no matter what goes on. And when you're self-employed, there's more for them to look out after. It's exactly. not as simple as, you know, here's my W-2 and here's my down payment, let's go. Yes, and it's also about now and it's about the future as well. Yes. It's a holistic approach to mortgages. Wow. So if you have any questions, you can talk to Tio. And Tio, how do, how do the guests reach you? Please reach out to me on my cell phone. That number is 972-734-5374. My email is tiofister at vendikemortgage.com and we'll make sure that is spelled out uh, in for the, everyone. In, in the footers? The, okay, yes, great. Yes. And is there anything else that you want the audience to know? Absolutely. This is still a really great time to invest in real estate. It's still a good time to buy your home. And it's not a, any, be, any better time than now. Maybe down <laughs> a couple of years ago, but now it's better than any other time because the property values are still going to increase and you need to have the right advice and the right advisor to be by your side to make that happen. And you're helping them trans, transcend some of these incredible rate hikes that are happening throughout the, the mortgage industry. Right. So having the conversation with you now is more important than later. Absolutely. Yeah. And Being able to lock those, those rates in and, and really have an understanding of what you need to do today. Yes, we can lock the rates in. They can start shopping and knowing that the market is not going to influence where they are now with their loan. And um, as inflation is getting better adjusted, rates will decline. And then we can look at other options. But for now, we're just going to make what has happened. And uh, rates are still going to be what they are. But it doesn't That's mean right. that you can't afford your home. Great, great point. So thank you for watching. It has been an interesting show, learning about mortgages, learning about communication, learning about how we can transcend some of the backlog of what it takes to get us into the place that we really want to live so that we can be our heart. Talk to you soon. Thank, thank you, you for watching. The fact is, business has changed. Engagement has changed. And for us to recover our businesses and our communities, we have to engage differently. If you want to have a serious conversation about engagement, community, and your business, call me, Doreen Milano, Visions to Excellence. I'm an executive coach. You can reach me at 650-483-5798 or contact me online at v2e.biz. That's capital V, number two, e.biz. Let's have a conversation. This has been Big Ideas Small Business with Doreen Milano. Doreen Milano solves problems for small and mid-market family-owned businesses and service-based industries. To work with Doreen, go to v2e.biz. For guest and sponsorship information, call 650-483-5798. Big Ideas Small Business with Doreen Milano is produced by Offbeat Business Media for the OBBM Network. For OBBM Network programming information, call 214-714-0495. Unauthorized use of any part of Big Ideas Small Business with Doreen Milano without prior permission through the OBBM network is strictly prohibited.